Today I'm going to extend the range of a LiftMaster garage door remote button. Problem is, button doesn't work unless I put the visor down like that. And to fix that, go inside. And the solution will be at the garage door opener itself, not the remote. Mainly you wanna make sure that this wire is able to receive the signals from the remote. So make sure nothing's blocking it. So if you got it curled up, all tied up here. Well, that could be a reason that the signal's not coming through because it's being blocked by the opener. Some people route this wire over closer to the door, but I'm just gonna take this wire, make sure it's straightened out here and attach another one to it. Let's we'll see how that works. From some quick research, it seems like solid versus stranded really doesn't matter all that much. So I'm just gonna go with something I have a small piece of. This is 18 gauge stranded. I'm trimming both ends just to follow suit of what was done before. Although what was done before didn't work all that well, but I think it's more about the length of the wire than uh, the stripped end. So these crimp connectors are not reusable. They're quick. And I found the Knipex pliers work really well at crimping these nice and strong. There's that. Good news. I didn't expect that one to work. Let's see how far back it goes. You can still kind of see the garage right there. 